Did you miss me? I'm back. I'm Bob A. Rose. And today we are gonna have some fun. You ready to have some fun? You guys are shine, beautiful people. It's Bob A. Rose. Hey! Hello! Hello! It's time to bathe. It's time to bathe. Pick up your brush. Pick up your brush and let's go with that. Yeah, it's time to bang. So today, we are going to paint a jack-o'-lantern. A jack-o'-lantern. And I have my palette ready. I know it's kind of hard to see because we got all kinds of different colors on here. But we're going to be using Province Sky. Um, this one is a uh, lemon yellow. Sunshine yellow, jack o' lantern orange, purple rain purple, and cherry red, snow white, and lamp black. Those are the colors that we're going to use today off of my palette. One of these days, I'm just gonna have to scrape this palette clean, and that's kind of, you know, gives me some meditation. I love to kind of scrape it. I'm gonna use a series of different brushes today. I'm just gonna sit those right here to choose from, how you been? You been doing all right? The reason I'm choosing the pumpkin today is because it's fall season and it's around the Halloween season. And fall season is one of my favorite seasons of all time because it's sweater weather. Say it with me, sweater weather, sweater weather, sweater weather. <laughs> I think I seen that on the episode of of SNL, uh, but yes. So join in with me. Let's just bring that a tad bit closer so you can see it right there. I'm gonna start off with my larger brush, this is number 10. And so we're gonna just go ahead and do the background. We're gonna start off with the background here a little bit. I'm gonna give it a, use the blue, the sky blue, and just gently do some strokes on that. It pushed it back a tad bit. So I'm gonna pull that back out. Just like that. What was that? The story of the jackal ladder. The jackal ladder takes place takes place back in the 18th century, and it is believed that there was a guy named Stingy Jack, Stingy Jack, and he was so conniving that he had tricked the devil into buying him a drink. He changed. He made the devil change his formation from whatever image he had at that time into being a coin, he paid for his beverage that way. And so um, after that, they changed him into the, he was stuck between heaven and he had to only use a lantern of some sort to be able to move between heaven and earth. And actually, you know, something like that. I think that's something like that. <laughs> kind of a crazy story. But also, the Irish would uh, carve turnips and place the turnips on the window ledge to deter evil spirits from coming into the house or coming nearby. So that's what they would do with um, turnips. And then also maybe potatoes. They would do potatoes that way, too. But later, when they moved and migrated to the United States, um, in New England, they found that pumpkins were native to that area. So they also found that pumpkins were so much more easy to carve, so they changed it to use pumpkins. And that is why they carve pumpkins out instead of the turnips now. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna do a little pumpkin. A little pumpkin. I'm gonna do another little pumpkin right here. And put a little yellow on the outside of this pumpkin, give it a little effect. You know what I didn't make is green. What colors make green? <laughs> you guessed it, yellow and blue. So we're gonna take a little yellow and a little blue. 
And we're gonna go ahead and make our green color right there. For the stem of the pumpkin, we'll need a little bit of that. We'll go take a little orange too, throw that in there to darken that up. We've got a nice green color for the stem. Perfect. And now I'm gonna grab some more of that blue to fill out some of those edges. So I like what I got going over here. We're gonna do some nice lines. I'm gonna go in between those two pumpkins now. Get the outside of that pumpkin there. We'll get the edges as well. When you carve your pumpkin at home, what kind of things do you like to put on your pumpkin? Do you make a jack o' lantern face? What do you put on your pumpkin? What are some of the traditions you like to do with your family during the fall? Do you go for hay rides? Do you like to uh, go trick or treating? Trick or treat, smell my feet, give me something good to eat. If you don't, I don't care. <laughs> That's what we used to say when I was a kid. Oh, a long, long time ago. And I don't know if they say that now, but it's pretty funny to me. Now I'm going to go ahead and go back over it with a little bit more orange and get that side of it. Get that pumpkin going here, right there. And then I'm going to use that green that we created for the stem. We'll come right out, come out there. Just like so, I like that. I'll give a little bit of one right here. Brilliant. And then I'm gonna use a smaller brush. I'm just gonna add a little bit of that snow white into it. Get some of those edges of that pumpkin. Like that. Give it a little contrast to the pumpkin. A little bit more contrast here. Let me give a little contrast on this other side of the pumpkin as well. And I think I'm gonna do a little wiggly line. Little line, a wiggly little line, because that looks good to me. I'm gonna dip a little bit in the red. Give a little bit more of that contrast for that pumpkin. Like that. I like the way that looks. And then now I'm going to dip into the black to really give it that deep defining line of that pumpkin. And I'll shift that stem. Like that. Go ahead and get some of that. Go out the outside of the pumpkin. Get some of that side, get the outside of that pumpkin. And I'm gonna come back and do this side of this pumpkin. So, and now I'm gonna dip it into that purple rain and give it some more of those squiggly lines. I like that squiggly line in there. And that completes our pumpkin. That's it. Check it out. Mm -hmm. I wish you a very fall, happy fall season. Thank you for again joining us today. If you like what you see, make sure you subscribe.